Jason Tatum is one of the best offensive players in the NBA right now, and his step back and sidestep moves are his go-to moves in most scenarios. Today I'm going to walk you through how to replicate the move and the main points to focus on to efficiently pull it off. Just to quickly clarify, I'm not showing you how to replicate his jump shot. I'll briefly talk about his jump shot, but I'm not making a jump shot guide by any means. This is simply a tutorial on how to do the move he uses to get into a shot. Alright, let's get going. One of the most important parts of Tatum's step back is its speed. If you watch clips of him using the move, he usually starts with a slow size up. After that, he either speeds it up into his eventual step back, or he just snaps into the move right there. Even right before he gets into it, he doesn't give the defender any indication that he's about to shoot. His eyes are constantly searching around an open space, so he doesn't miss the chance to hit a cutter or shooter with an open pass. Tatum doesn't actually look at the rim until he starts his shooting motion. His footwork is what makes the move unique, however. For Tatum, it doesn't really matter where his feet start. For example, with LeBron's quick step back, he always has either foot planted in front before he shoots. With Tatum, he can just set his foot as his momentum is already beginning to shift backwards, and as soon as he plants that foot, he can bounce off it into a shot. One thing you'll also notice is that Tatum usually tries that size up in an attempt to get the defender to step off or pivot. If Tatum jabs, for example, and the defender swings his hips into a more lateral stance, Tatum can pull it back right there. If the defender holds their ground and stays with a foot out front, he can just blow to the rim or sidestep in whatever direction the defender's back is turned to. In that sense, you can compare it to Harden's step back. There isn't exactly a right answer when you defend it. Another thing you'll notice is that he never steps back too far and always stays on balance. His length allows him to get the shot over the defender without needing to move much. That being said, I'm a 5'7 guard with a plus 6 wingspan and I use this move. It's effective for anyone if you know how to use it but it's really going to be unguardable for tall, lengthy guards and wings. Another thing to pay attention to is his contested body movement. In the rare instance that Tatum doesn't create enough space or finds himself leaning back a bit farther than he wants to for one reason or another, he'll kick his legs a bit to build some momentum on the shot. The only problem I've found this creates in my own experience is it hurts your accuracy, so only use it if you really think you're not going to get the ball to the rim. Last important note, he doesn't always escape the same way or on whatever side the ball is on. He can step out to the right, left, or just further back, all with his right hand. Same goes for his left. But a lot of the time, you'll see him pull it into a shooting pocket from his right hand. As far as getting the move down goes, that's all there is to it. Once you've got the basic move down, there are a few little tweaks or other additions to your arsenal to make the move more effective. The big important one is that the move is really only going to be effective if you're a player that can get to the rim and finish. If the defender lets you go and hugs the corner or something because he knows you're going to try to pass out, you aren't going to be able to create the opening you need. He will always hold his ground. You can also add little additions to the move such as his dribble pull backer in and out to add some flair to the move or catch your defender off guard. To keep the defender guessing, you can attempt to hold your dribble after the step back and blow by him to the rim. Or, you can do an evolution of that move and hold your dribble, drive towards the rim before stepping back into your shot again. There's plenty more you can do in terms of combos, just mess around with it and see what works. Or if you have convincing pump fake, you can step back and pump fake it. This will likely improve your accuracy if they jump past you, since you'll be more stable. If they jump straight up, or what would be a clean good test, you can lean into them and put up the shot for some free throws. So that's all the main points you need to focus on to replicate Jason Tatum's signature step back. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed it, or it helped you in some way. I'm going to do my best to upload a few times a week. I'm going to be uploading specific move tutorials, general tips and tricks, or some player edits if I feel like it. I really just enjoy making these, so if you liked it, that's all I care about. Once again, thank you so much for staying till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one. going to be uploading specific move tutorials, general trips and tips. Oh my god. I'm going to be uploading specific move tutorials, general tips and tricks, some player edits if I feel like it. Do my best to upload a few times a week. I'm going to be uploading specific move tutorials, general... <laughs> Dude, what the hell?